Hi, my name is Janice Carmel, and this is an explanation of my twin text assignment. And I decided to do mine on um, Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, and the Civil War. So, scrolling down, you'll see the first book I chose was Lincoln, a photobiography by Russell Friedman. Um, it was published by Claron Books, and it was basically a, a biography of Abraham Lincoln from the day he was born till he passed away as well. The second book I picked was Pink and Say, and it is written by Patricia Polacco and published by Philemol Books. And this book is basically a book about the Civil War and the war between the North and the South. So the first book I chose, um, Lincoln, a photobiography, basically um, what I wrote about it, it was an awesome book. It was really informational. It was very accurate. And, um, the pictures help um, encourage of what you picture what you would picture that environment to be back in um, the time of Abraham Lincoln um, it also depict a, a pretty accurate timeline of all the events that took place um, it was it talks about how he was born in Hodgenville Kentucky the theme includes the American history the Civil War presidency and historical fig uh, figures so it's a great social studies book um, basically, it provided facts about his daily life and his struggles, everything that he went through um, leading up to him being the 16th president of America. And um, it continues to talk about the, um, the contribution that he's made to uh, the United States and our nation today. And then the um, other book that I chose, again, was The Pink and Say on the Civil War. And it's it's definitely a powerful picture book. It has so many great images. It helps capture the ideas um, fluently. Uh, it's also based on a true story of um, two young soldiers, uh, Union soldiers, and um, one of the African American soldiers attempts to help the young white soldier. Um, both eventually become friends as they're healing and they're both also sent to the prison camp and one one of them I don't want to give away the whole story but one of them lives and the other one unfortunately dies it's a very emotional book the images um, definitely help capture that uh, emotion as well so moving on to the uh, California content standards, there's so many that could definitely apply to these subject areas because it includes a variety of things in that time period. Um, so I just included the basics. Um, grade 2 it could be understanding the importance of individual action characters on certain leaders. Um, for grade 3, I put understanding the roles and law, uh, laws in our daily life. Um, the reason the rules for the laws in the Constitution, the role of citizenship, um, the importance of public virtue, role of citizens, how to participate um, in the community and civic life, and then also discussing the American heroes as in like the second grade. And for fifth grade, um, basically describing uh, slavery into America because that is definitely one of their standards as well. And then obviously there are tons of ELA standards that could apply to um, the lesson plan that I created for this. So procedures, which book and why? Uh, I would first suggest to read the Lincoln, a photobiography, because it provides a good foundation of knowledge for students to un understand about the Civil War. Um, once they read the uh, Pink and Say book, um, they'll need kind of an idea of that time period and what what kind of events happened within that time period to put two and two together why there was such a conflict between North and the South. So that's the reason that I suggested to make um, to read the Lincoln photo op biography for. So um, I'm running out of time so real quick an activity that I prepared is students will write a letter to former President Abraham Lincoln using specific information related to the book of the photobiography. Once they've read the Pink and Say, 
They will address the letter by explaining how they feel about Lincoln's actions towards slavery, um, how they were affected by this action, how has it helped shape our economy today. The letter must include facts about data from both books and additionally must include a quote of their choice cited correctly. So um, I didn't include an, object an objective or anything, but I felt that this um, both of these books could be used um, in, in different grade levels. I think the concept of the photobiography book is a little bit more difficult, and I would probably grade it for the upper, I think I put, um, yeah, I put ages 8 to 14 or 4th through 7th grade. And then for the uh, Pink and Say book is a little bit for uh, those younger age groups, but you could, however, use it with, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, in which all the uh, content standards that apply basically are of our hero figures and how basically a constitution or government was originally formed. So that is my Twin Text assignment, and thanks for listening. Bye.